Alrighty guys, welcome back to yet another video. I just got out of Plant Fitness, got a nice shower, and I'm heading over to, I got to, heading over to Walmart. I got to pick up a couple things, but the plan is tonight, I'm switching things up. I'm thinking I'm going to take the tent and I'm going to drive way deep into some BML land and try to find a place to tent camp right by the Colorado River. It's about a two, two, three mile hike. So it's about 1.30ish right now. I'm going to get some lunch and then pack up my backpack, my hiking bag, get us some gear around and then go hike out into the Arizona desert and spend a night up there. I gotta switch things up, do something a little bit more active, but that is the plan for this video. So stay tuned. I'm gonna head into Walmart. I gotta pick up some gear and I'll catch you guys in the desert. Let's see. That's what we need right there. Air mattress. So I am not sleeping on the ground. Alrighty, alrighty guys. Picked up the air mattress and a couple other things. Pull up to my spot right up here and start getting packed up, get a lunch ready. It's my spot here. It's kind of a pain to get into though. Soon. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's heavy. Everything I need to survive for the next 24 hours or so. Oh, oh it's heavy. Take some of the pressure off. Here we go. Then of course, gotta fit in better with the, the desert. Got this, picked up a cowboy hat yesterday. One, for, not just for, for looks. I didn't really have a good sun hat, so it'd be play an important role in me hopefully not getting too sunburnt. There we go. I'm not sure how I feel about the hat yet. Close this guy up. Say goodbye to the truck. I'm gonna hit the road. I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna hike to. I'm a little bit nervous leaving the truck out here. It's kind of a little bit rougher area, but it's about two, three mile-ish hike. It's about 4.30 right now and it, get dark. it gets dark a little after seven. And I gotta set up camp and probably make a fire and do something fairly simple for dinner tonight. And yeah, that's the plan. Let's get, get in the desert, start hiking. Jeez, always so dang windy. Look at this terrain. That storm the other day, I believe the lightning bolt struck right over that over there. I don't even know if you guys can hear me with this wind. Oh, poop, which are basically just wild donkeys that roam everywhere around here, if you didn't know. Dude, this wind. Alright. I haven't even come that far, but I'm already feeling it. Hard in the shoulders. I'd love to get more into backpacks someday. Oh my gosh. Dude, this wind needs to stop. Alrighty. Been hiking for about half an hour so far. Going pretty well. Oh, way out in the middle of the desert. Well, this really stinks. I didn't realize, apparently, down to the river, it's a wilderness area. And this is the boundary right here. Oh, man. I still have like a mile and a half to get to the river. And it says no campfires and no camping. Man, why there have to be a wilderness area here, dude? This stinks. I don't know. I think I'm either either head up into the hills in the open desert or turn around and head up into the mountains. I was gonna explore around a little bit and try to find somewhere good. All right, this is the spot. This little divot right here, it's got a pretty sweet view of the mountains and the Colorado River from pretty far about. I got some flat ground here. I don't think I want to go up the mountains. There's no guarantee of one firewood and two any flat ground for me to camp on. I have to be a careful of scorpions and rattlesnakes. The locals are saying once it gets started in the 80s like it has been, you got to really start watching out for those guys. So be on the lookout for that too, but I'm gonna start getting the tent set up. Woo! Alrighty guys, that wind is just ridiculous. Doing my best to film. I apologize for the wind noise, it's probably gonna be bad. 
Okay, got the air mattress I just bought. I ain't using a sleeping pad when it's this jagged of rocks. Just snagged a pillow from the truck. Be comfortable. I, I way overdid it for one night. And then my tent. This thing's got to be more than like 10 years old, but it's still going strong. Got it for like 30 bucks. It's a great little one-person tent. I, I think the last time I would have seen you guys would have seen it in a video would have been the Sylvania series from like two, three years ago. But there's the tent. And then last but not least the sleeping bag ready for 25 degrees it's actually be getting down into like the 40s tonight so this may be nice to have for tonight uh, two things two water bottles my hat obviously garmin inreach um what else do i got i got some food which you guys will see shortly i brought a speaker and a few things to keep me entertained the drone and strapped in my belt i got a knife just for all uses and defense but Hopefully I shouldn't have to see anybody up here in the way up back in the hills. That's the hope anyways. The, with all the spring breakers, there's been a lot of people, a lot of people in the campground the last couple days. It's been a bit overcrowded, but I'm going to start getting this tent set up. made that take about 10 times longer than it needed to be. That was an absolute pain in the butt. <sighs> a breather after that. But I got all the tethers down. Had to get a few rocks to help. Wow, that was a pain in the butt. But I'm gonna start getting the inside ready. Alrighty, made it inside the tent. Hopefully this will probably be the first audio you guys can actually hear me a little bit. But got the air mattress folded up in here and unfortunately this pump is designed or the, out, the valve is not really designed uh without to be work without uh a, an air pump no i do not have an air pump nor an outlet or anything so this might take a while and i might get a bit lightheaded all right here's how things are looking in here there we go Ah. Last thing, and then I'll be done. Uh, the pillow. And there we go. It's my humble abode for the night. Very, very small inside. But it's pretty cozy. There's the tent. The rest of my gear right there. You can see the sun is just setting now, and hopefully when it gets darker, this dang wind will die down. It's just been non-stop blowing and it's made everything difficult today. But now that I got the tent set up for the night, I'm gonna show you guys the spot a little bit more. Wow, it's nice. It took a lot longer to get that process done than I thought it would, but. That is gorgeous, dude. Absolutely beautiful. You can see I collected some rocks. No scorpions or anything, so I got lucky. <laughs> but I got a nice little sized fire pit I made for myself and a couple matches. Got a nice little pile. There's not much wood out here but the little wood there is is luckily bone dry. So I got a nice little pile of wood and there's more if I need it. All I've got to get it started is a remnants of my macaroni box from earlier and only like four matches. So, so we're gonna have to get it on the first try. Let's see how this goes. Come on. 
could have done it. I'm not gonna get the hopes up yet. But it's looking good. And there we go. First campfire of the trip. Just hope this wind dies down a little bit more. I might make a little wall for it. Oh, I got this big rock right here. Hopefully shield the fire a little bit from the wind. It's doing its job fairly well. The tent, backpack, how to make some dinner. And an absolutely gorgeous night to alone in the desert. I was really hoping the wind would die down when it got dark, but it hasn't. It's okay though. Just an absolutely gorgeous night. Nights like this, that just incredible. Make me, just bring me back into like the 1800s. I just feel, I just imagine living in the day, just sleeping on the ground next to your campfire at night, hundreds of years ago. Crazy to think about. Threw the last of the wood on. Fire is absolutely ripping. And I got all my stuff in here. Got tortillas, a speaker. I was jamming to some western, old western tunes for a while. Got some snacks, peanut butter, some light. There's my pillow. You can see the wind is definitely still pretty extreme. It's gonna be interesting trying to sleep in this thing tonight. I mean, this is very much a one person tent. <laughs> Man, I love it, dude. I was feeling so at home in the truck and I'm like, man, I'm getting too lazy. I gotta get out of my comfort zone again. Get away, get away from it all for again, for a minute. There's a setup. It's pretty small. <laughs> if you couldn't already tell. Oh boy, this wind is just not letting up at all. It's. It feels quite congested in here with this crazy wind. And I did not realize I'm on like a major tilt. Like I'm very on a very bad degree angle like down into the right. But this air mattress is fairly comfortable. You know, that memory foam of the truck, like it's only a couple inches thick. And like my back was starting to get pretty tight from a lot of nights sleeping on that. And this air mattress is very comfortable. So at least I've got that going for me. But... It's really nice just to get out, get away from everything, get out camping. Even in these crazy conditions, I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And yeah, epic day. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Don't have any wild coyotes or donkeys try to sneak in in the middle of the night, hopefully. But <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Oh, that was, oh, I don't know why, not the greatest night's sleep. <laughs> the stars were incredible last night, and but it was not the most peaceful night. Just the wind was crazy pretty much all night until about the early morning, about six, five, six in the morning when it finally died down. But the whole tent was just like whipping and shaking all night, so it was loud and Definitely being on the slant and realize how uneven the ground was here. So I was like rolling to the right all night, but So I was pretty much on and off all night, but either way it still wasn't too bad. I woke up. It's about 7 38 o'clock right now I'm gonna get up Yeah, not a lot of space in here. You can probably tell <laughs> All my stuff's down there and then... There's the view outside Pretty dang sweet waking up in the desert. Got my shoes. Oh, check for scorpions. <laughs> it's the, everyone says, you leave your shoes out. They like to crawl in your warm shoes at night. Great. I'm just sitting here chilling, enjoying the beautiful morning. I'm gonna, so I didn't bring anything really. I wasn't able to put the cooker, but I brought a 
mango. I don't remember the last time I've eaten a mango, but it's one of my favorite fruits. And I've realized on this trip that I've eaten very, very little fruit. I'm just gonna give her a go. Where's even the top? This is like the most misshapen mango I've ever seen. <laughs> Yep, I definitely cut this thing up the wrong way. Well, besides cutting it when it was facing the wrong direction, you can get some of the remnants off it. Oh, that is really good though. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up that mango and it was so delicious, exactly what I needed. I'm definitely gonna be getting some more of those, getting some good vitamins, but super delicious, good breakfast, and it's an absolutely gorgeous day, so I think I'm gonna go, go for a little short, go for a short little hike, get a little lay of the land, and then come back and start packing up. So I just got back from my hike and I've just about got everything packed up back into my backpack. Pretty amazing and fit all that gear just in this little backpack. I think I'm gonna head on out of here. This has been a really awesome little day trip. Definitely just exactly what I needed just to hike away and just get out. It's been a little bit lazy the last few days so it was really good just to get away even though the wind was very challenging. It was still just an absolutely beautiful view to wake up to, get away from people. Really, really fun little trip. So I'm gonna get on out of here and hike the mile back to the truck and hopefully everything stills back at the truck, but I'm gonna start hiking and I'll catch you guys when I get there. Man, terrain is so cool in the desert. Oh. What a maze, I don't even remember which way I came. I think that direction, I'm somewhere over that big hill over there. I got a good ways to hike. Alrighty guys, I'm getting close to the getting close to the truck now. And wow, I'm whooped. It's a lot of weight in the back. I would love to get more in the backpack and you know, do some like high mountain adventures for like two weeks at a time someday. That would be incredible with fly fishing up in the mountains, but really enjoy just getting the tent out. I'm definitely gonna be getting the tent out again a couple, hopefully a couple more times on this trip. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.